What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Bergs, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Caps to Sagittarius, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Uh, free general collective reading. Uh, Oracle card reading for sign of Virgo. This can resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. North, no men, heaven, or Jupiter charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general oracle card reading. So if the messages do not apply, let it fly. If they do not fit, please do not force them. Free general oracle card reading. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,500 and... Um, 90 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 305. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display your name or how much you donate if you choose to donate. Thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. It helps support a single mama's, one of our income streams, um, when you support the channel. Thanks so much. Spirit messages you have, Sign of Virgo. I did get um, some downloads as I was meditating on your mid-May of 2022's Oracle card reading, so I'm going to share them. Uh, the channel message I received was um, retaliation against a co, a former, uh, not a former, sorry, retaliation against a current co-worker is about to be prevented through, uh, through whistleblower policy. It is about to shock you. For one, you're going to be very happy. You plug it in, how it resonates. And then I heard a cancer is about to become very significant in this. So you plug it in, how it resonates, uh, Virgo. So there's some kind of retaliation. Either you or somebody you're connected to wanted to perform against a, a current coworker. Uh, but I heard this coworker is about to be protected through the whistleblower policy. Um, it sounds like in this company or corporate entity or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I heard for one, it's going to shock you. For one, it's going to um, make you happy. Um, I heard a cancer is about to become very significant in this. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. I feel for at least one of you guys, you work for a corporate entity or a corporate agency, or you were connected to someone that does, that does work for this corporate entity or agency. However, that resonates. Her get one more spirit messages you have outside of Virgo. Spirit messages you have some Virgo. A Capricorn and a Scorpio is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life soon. Seven in a positive way, seven in a negative way. Okay, I heard a Caps and a um Scorpio is about to become very significant in Virgo's life soon. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. You plug it in, how it resonates. And someone's about to go to the police soon. Some a Virgo, some not a Virgo. And someone's about to go to, to the police soon. Some a Virgo, not a Virgo. Some not a Virgo. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay. So at least one of you guys is about to go to the police soon over person, people, place, family, or situation. For at least one of you guys, but if it's not you, it's somebody you're connected to um, going to the police. Police energy, strong in here, so you plug it in how it resonates. Whistleblower policy, um, strong in here. Somebody's trying to retaliate against you, Virgo, or one of your co-workers, or you're trying to retaliate against a co-worker. However, that resonates and plugs in one's life, but it's some kind of protection under whistleblower policy and a cancer is about to become very significant in that. And um, and police energy, whether you're going to the police or somebody you're connected to is. Number 859, 32 or 39 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 859, 32 or 39. 
It could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. Um, 8, 59, 32, 39. And a Virgo feminine that works in a corrections facility is about to find out they are pregnant by someone in this corrections facility. It's going to lead to job loss for this Virgo feminine. Breaking of contract. A cancer is about to become very significant in this. You never thought they would let you go, but they are going to. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, and there's a Virgo Femme that works at a corrections facility. If this resonates for you, Virgo Femme. Um, I feel you watch my channel or somebody you're connected to does. So there's a reason I'm pulling you in. You're a Virgo Feminine. You work at a corrections facility. So I'm feeling a jail or I'm thinking a jail or a prison. Um, or a juvenile detention center. How that resonates. But um, I heard you about to find out you're pregnant. You're about to find out you're pregnant by somebody in this corrections facility. So I hope it's not a juvie center. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, I don't know if it's a guard. I don't know if it's a patient. Um, I don't know if it's a guard. I don't know if it's a inmate. I'm not sure. But um, you're about to find out you're pregnant by somebody in that works, it sounds like, in your current facility, in the corrections facility. I heard you're about to, um, you, you will be terminated over this. It sounds like breach of contract. It sounds like breach of contract. I think you were under, in a um, no fraternization um, contract, is what I think. Um, and you being pregnant by this person that works with you will obviously violate no fraternization policy. So I um, heard a cancer is about to become very significant in this. So I think the cancer is your boss or they work in corporate. Um, in some shape, form, or fashion, I heard you never thought they would do it, but they are about to do it. Um, this cancer is. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, for the Virgo Femme that's about to find out she's pregnant, that works at a corrections facility in some shape, form, or fashion. If that resonates. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign. You definitely are dealing with a cancer, I'll tell you that, for at least one of you guys. Um, if you are, uh, they could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. If you are somebody, the Virgo Femme is definitely good, about to be dealing with a cancer, masculine or feminine. I feel it's your manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. I uh, feel it's either corporate energy or in your or direct managerial energy in your facility. Um, the one that's about to find out you're pregnant by somebody in your corrections facility. Um, you're employed in this corrections facility. If this resonates for you. Uh, Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery. Unexplained scratches and bruising are about to be very significant on a child soon. A Virgo is about to take great action. Some you're a social worker. Some you are a parent. Some you are a grandparent. Oh, Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's terrible. Heard unexpected scratches and bruises are about to become very significant on a child soon. Uh, for some, you are a social worker. Um, this sounds like about to get involved in this case with this child that has unexpected scratches and bruises on them. Um, for some, you are the parent of the child. For some, you are a grandparent of the child. So life is a mystery, and this aspect is mystery of the unexpected scratches and bruises on this child. Uh, nobody should mess with anybody's children, period, point blank. Um, seriously. Um, but for some, you're a social worker. For some, you are the parent of this child. For some, you are the uh, grandparent. So you, the mystery is the scratch, unexplained scratch, scratches and bruises. You plug it in, how it resonates. Yeah, that's, uh-uh, no. You mess with my kids, that's a, that's a no-fly zone. Period, point blank. Nay, nay. Starfish spirit, open to infinite possibility.
A particular Virgo is really about to start job searching soon in another company. Far locations away from the, where they're at now. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, if this resonates for you, Virgo, I heard you're about to start job searching um, at another company. So it's not the current company you're at now. It's a different, it's another company you're about to be interested in. Um, job searching, I heard far away from the distance and location you're at now. So uh, open to infinite possibility. I'm feeling you're about to put your feelers out to other companies, other potentials, other possibilities. Um, and it sounds like you want to move far locations away from where you're at now. Uh, it sounds like you want to move. Um, so you're about to put yourself out there, put your feelers out there, get out there and start expanding your horizons. I'm feeling in a new city, town, province, etc., etc., etc. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. I was waiting to see if it did. Okay. Sun, happiness, and well-being. One Virgo is researching Sano Bello. One is eating more fruits and vegetables. Okay, well, that's beautiful energy there Virgo if that resonates for you I heard one of you guys is uh, researching Sano Bello and one you're um, eating more fruits and vegetables so you plug it in how it resonates um, I had heard of Sano Bello uh, on the um, advertised on the radio but um, a co-worker uh, told me what it was the other day uh, more in depth of what it was and it, it's for people that want it I mean hey go for it um, if you can afford it obviously and you're able to do it um, so Sano Bello energy and one of you guys is eating more fruits and vegetables. Uh, you're incorporating more healthier things into your body. And that's really, really, really beautiful. And I think that's open to infinite possibilities as well. Opening yourself to money, uh, not money loss, to weight loss, to health goals and to things of that nature, which is really, really, really beautiful. And I think it's going to make you very happy. For some, a Leo um, could be involved in this in some shape, form, or fashion because the sun card is Leo energy or not. If they are, they could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or if they made energy for charts, if they are. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. There's about to be a very, very, very significant, loud argument in the parking lot of a food service store soon. The police will be called. For some, there will be gunshots. It's going to make you want to leave out of this town very, very, very soon and very quickly. Oh my Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates, dear God Almighty. So if this resonates for you, a very significant, I heard very significant, loud, sounds like verbal. For some, it could be physical altercation in this parking lot of this food service place, or whatever this food service place is. I feel, I'm feeling like a Publix or a Griner's or a, um, or a, um, a, a something like that or a walmart or something that ser um, sells food like a grocery store I'm thinking like a grocery store um it's in a it sounds like it's gonna be in the parking lot of this grocery store type energy um it sounds like there's at least two of these about to happen in the universe one of them is going to involve gunshots it sounds like one is not but however that resonates it's i don't know if you're directly involved in this virgo or you are on the sidelines or you're walking by and seeing this how that resonates, but how that resonates, I heard it's going to make you want to move towns soon and quickly. 
So um, yeah, it sounds like the violence is getting uh, out of control in your town and it's going to make you want to move. And absolutely, um, that, that's some scary stuff. Imagine going in and getting some milk and uh, local bread and boom, 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 coming out and boom, boom, boom. Yeah, no. So a path with money is waiting for you to find it. Um, I think this is you moving, you saving up your money and moving away from this town once you there's gunshots involved or loud physical or verbal altercations in parking in grocery store parking lots. Um, maybe for some, you are having trouble finding uh, work in this uh, town, city, town, province, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, um, is what I'm feeling because we have the. Uh, path with money is waiting for you to find it. So I think you were having trouble finding employment in this place anyways, or if you have a business, maybe your businesses went down by staying in this uh, city, town, province, etc. You Older man, dealings a relationship with the older man. A cancer masculine is about to become very, very, very significant in Virgo's life. Very significant. Some human resources, some corporate, some your grandfather. Okay, I heard a cancer masculine is about to become very significant in one particular Virgo's life. For some, it's human resources. For some, it's your grandfather. For some, it is corporate. So you plug it in how it resonates. So for some of you guys, you work in a corporate entity, entity agency, but you are not, you don't work in corporate. You work for the offshoot facility location site outside of corporate. Um, but this person, I think they work in corporate for one of the cancer masculines. Um, and you're about to deal with them in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel that could be a positive or negative way. You plug it in how it resonates. For one, this person is your grandfather. So this cancer masculine is your grandfather, and you're about to deal with him either in a positive or negative way. Um, and for one, it is um, human resources. So human resources in your company, facility, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I feel it's a cancer masculine, and you're about to deal with them in either a positive or a negative way. If this resonates for you, Virgo. For some, it is the baby father, pregnant Virgo feminine. Some Scorpio masculine, some Cancer masculine. Okay, I heard for some, it's the baby father. So there's actually four situations in here. For some, it's baby father energy. You're pregnant, you're a Virgo femme, you're pregnant, and for some, it is your baby father. For some, this baby father energy is Scorpio masculine. For some, they are Cancer masculine. So you plug it in however that resonates. If it resonates for you, Virgo. Pregnancy energy strong in here. Truth. Significant video camera footage is about to become very, very, very significant. And one particular Virgo feminine that was involved in hidden camera energy in the past, in a family's home in the past, not your home, your ex is about to take you to court because they know information of you voyeuring through the camera, hidden camera energy of their home in the past. They're about to fight you for full custody, some of one child, some of two plus children, and they will win because they have evidence. You did not help this family. Oh my Lord. Oh, so, same, well, not the same exact thing in Capricorns, but one, very similar. There is about to be, a. I just want to tell, say this, there is about to be a community that did not help a family in the past. And they all voyeured through a camera of this family's home in the past. But nobody helped the family. They laughed at them through the camera. They voyeured at them. They hee-hawed at them through the camera. But they did not tell the adult 
or anybody in that household that they were being voyeured by their own people in their community. So now the camera shut down and energy shifted, but now exes, a lot of people's exes are using that information and taking these people to the court of law as evidence that they knew that they voyeured through this camera of this family in the past and they're about to win custody. I heard full custody of child or children because they did not help in the past. There's, it's not just Virgo's reading. Capricorns have the same exact thing in there. But you plug it in how it resonates. There's a Virgo feminine that's about to go through the same exact thing. And the truth is about to be that they're about to get a wake-up call. They're about to go through legal court proceedings. Their ex or exes or ex's family. I heard ex, but you plug it in how it resonates. Ex or exes or ex's family has, they know this Virgo feminine voyeur through this family's camera. A uh, hidden camera, voyeur through a hidden camera of their home in the past. Nobody should have been voyeuring through a hidden camera in this family's home in the past, but yet they know that this Virgo fem did. They're about to use it against them in the court of law. But it's not just Virgo's reading. It's a ton of different signs. I already picked it up in Capricorns this round. A lot of people are about to go to the court of law very publicly and display this into the court of law. And it's about to embarrass a bunch of people because they did not help this family. But now it's about the energy is about to shift around on them and people are about to start losing custody of a lot of kids soon because they basically abused a family in the past. And there's proof and evidence that they did abuse this family. So you plug it in how it resonates. So truth energy, truth of this, um, your ex or exes or exes family, maybe for some of you Virgo fems, her specifically, you're a Virgo fem, um, about to take you to the court of law. Um, because there is evidence you voyeur through this uh, a hidden camera in a family's home in the past, and you basically abused and exploited this family, but yet you have full, I'm feeling full custody of child or children, but yet you want to remain, have full custody of your child or children, but yet you wanted to abuse and exploit other families, other children, other adults, by not helping them get a hidden camera out of their home. So truth coming out about that, if that resonates. That's that's toxic and that's terrible, but I, I mean, it sounds like these people's karma is about to come around because they should have helped. They should have helped, but they chose not to help. So now truth's about to come out. A particular lawsuit is about to become very significant in Virgo's life. For one Virgo, they're about to place it on someone. For one Virgo, they're about to get it placed on them. For some personal, some professional. Oh my Lord. I heard a particular uh, lawsuit's about to become very significant in Virgo's life. For some of you guys, you're about to place it on person, people, place, or situation. For some, you're about to have it placed on you. For some of you guys, it's personal. For some, it's professional. So truth coming out soon about lawsuit energy, whether you are placing this lawsuit on person, people, place, situation, or you're having it placed on you. How that resonates. Leadership. A marathon is about to become very significant in Virgo's life soon. And a head of a political organization. Ooh, and I heard which one it was, but I'm not going to say. Is about to reorganize their entire political, help reorganize their entire political foundation. There was a lot of bullying and beratement and drama in the past. They want to change that. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so political energy. I hardly ever draw in political energy, but I am. Um, you were head of a political organization. I heard which one it was, but I'm not saying it publicly on my channel to protect myself. So just saying. It. I heard which one you're you're part of. Uh, you can be masculine or feminine, whoever you are and how this resonates, but I'm not publicly saying it on here. Um, but if you know this resonates with you or you feel it resonates with you, you are head of a political organization, whatever organization that is. And I heard basically um, there was a lot of bullying, beratement, and harassment and drama in the past, but you know this um, and you want to help reorganize it. So you're going to take leadership skills in your political organization 
and help reorganize uh, because all the drama, bullying, beratement, and harassment. And it sounds like you want to draw more people in to your cause, to your ideals, to your beliefs. Um, but it sounds like it's been hard because there's been so much bullying, beratement, and harassment, and drama in your political organization. And um, yeah, nobody wants to, uh, who the hell wants to go near bullying, beratement, drama, and harassment? Um, nobody. So yeah, that you, it sounds like you'd probably have to clear that out or at least help clear that out. So you're going to take leadership skills and your political, political activism here basically is what this is. Political activism um, for the second one. Um, you go with your bad self if that resonates for you. And for one, it's some kind of marathon energy. I think you're about to take leadership over your body and your health and your mind. And um, you're either going to participate in this marathon or you're going to help Maybe you're a trainer going to help somebody participate in this marathon, or you could be helping organize or lead this marathon if this resonates with you. But some kind of marathon energy, if that resonates. I'm going to pull one moon cycle and then I'll close it. Spirit messages you have with like this. A, a cancer and a Leo, Cancer masculine and a Leo feminine's reconnection soon is about to shock the hell out of Vir out of a Virgo. Okay, I heard one. Heard a Cancer masculine and a Leo feminine's reconnection soon is about to shock the hell out of a Virgo soon. So you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. You could be masculine or femme Virgo, I'm feeling. But some kind of Leo feminine and cancer masculine energy. We have heavy cancer masculine energy in here. Very, very, very heavy. Um, very heavy. A lot of you guys are dealing with cancer masculines, I'm feeling, in some shape, form, or fashion. Apparently, a Leo femme is about to be. Um, I feel you know this Leo femme because I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. Or you know the cancer masculine or you know both of them. They could have Leo feminine. Uh, it's a Leo fem and a Cancer masculine. They could have Leo, the feminine Leo could have Leo and or Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or feminine energy for your charts. The masculine Cancer could have Cancer and his Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or feminine energy for your charts. I heard they're about to reconnect soon. I heard it's about to shock the hell out of you, if that resonates for you, Virgo. Patience, number 36, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 36, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. Number 36, patience. A Virgo is about to reconnect with an Aries soon. Aries masculine. They are about to look so much older. So, so, so much older. Than the last time you saw them and it's been less than five years oh well that's not patience um so you plug it in how it resonates i feel that's more like older man energy um whoever you are virgo masculine or femme i heard you're about to reconnect with the aries masculine whoever this aries masculine is and how they apply in your life um i heard you about apparently you have seen them but it's been like five years or less um, I heard less than five years. So I think it's been five years or less. For some, it could have been a year. Some, it could be two years. Some, it could be four years. Some, it could be 4.5 years. But I heard five years or less, you have seen this Aries masculine. But I heard you're about to reconnect with him soon. So you're about to reconnect with the Aries masculine. The Cancer masculine and the Leo Femme's about to reconnect. That's about to shock you. But this is not you reconnecting with these people. It's just about to I think you're about to hear that these people are about to reconnect or see they're about to reconnect. So there's reconciliation energy in here, but this is not your reconciliate reconciliation. This one is. This is the Aries masculine. Um, and you have seen them less than five years ago. For some, it could be a year, some at four years, some four four point five years, some two years, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But I heard when you reconnect with them soon, it sounds like it hasn't happened yet, but when it does happen, I heard they're about to look a lot older than the last time you remember seeing them in person. So older man they're about to look very very old i heard it was a masculine energy so i feel they are about to look very very old compared to what you saw them less than five years ago i heard it's going to shock you so some kind of that it sounds like they have really put on the age like physical feature age there um and it's it sounds like they have aged quickly 
Um, for some, it is black magic. For some, you did not believe in it. For some, you're about to. Oh, my Lord. I heard for some, it's black magic. For some, you did not believe in it, but you're about to. So he's about to, you're about to notice he has aged quickly. Like quickly, quickly, quickly. And like I said, for some, it's been less than five years since you've seen this guy. So I don't know how old he is. He could be 40. He could be 30. He could be 50. I don't know. But I heard definite black magic here. You, For some, you didn't even believe in black magic. But you're about to when you see the age progression of this Aries masculine in person. Because he's progressed in age physically so quickly in such a short amount of time. And black magic always backfires. It always backfires. And this... A um, instance, it is age progression, physical features, and you're about to see it in your own, uh, with your own eyeballs. I heard for some, you, you did believe in black magic, but for some, you didn't. And when you see this Aries masculine in person, you're about to believe it. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Patience. A crying child is about to become significant in a Virgo's life. A heartbroken adult ch adult child, some grandchild, 30 or below, is about to become very significant. Okay, I heard a crying child is about to become significant in one of you guys' life and a heartbroken adult child. Um, is about to become very significant in your life. Some is your child, some is your grandchild, but it sounds like it's an adult child. Um, sounds like it's an adult child. For some, it's a heartbroken teenager. For some, it's a heartbroken teenager. So for some, it's a crying child. So you're going to have to have patience with the crying child, I'm feeling. For some, it's a heartbroken teenager. So I think you're going to have to have patience with the heartbroken teenager. They might be crying too, possibly, for some of them. Um, or heart, you know, or just heartbroken in some other shape, form, or fashion. You have to have patience with them. Some kind of teenager energy in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, it is a um, adult energy, younger adult energy. So I'm thinking maybe 25 or below, or 30 or below, or something like that. I feel you are older in that instance. I feel you're an older Virgo um, dealing with this younger, 30-ish, 25-ish adult energy some kind of heartbroken energy for them. So I think that's breakup energy. I think uh, breakup energy or something horrible has happened in their life and it's made them very sad. It might be crying energy there as well. I think you're going to take leadership and help this grandchild, child, uh, whether it's an adult child, adult, um, or, or your adult grandchild, your adult child, or a teenager, or a physical child. However, that resonates in one's life, Virgo. You're dealing with a lot of signs in here, I'll tell you that, a lot. Someone's about to get stuck at the airport soon. And a call from a federal agent is about to become very significant to a Virgo. Oh, my Lord. Heard of, um, someone's about to get stuck in an airport soon. So it could be you getting stuck in an airport or someone you're connected to. But somebody's about to get stuck in an airport soon. And a call from a, a call from a federal agent is about to become very significant to a Virgo soon. So it sounds like you, Virgo, is about to get a call from a federal agent. I don't know if you initiated this call to come to you or they're doing an investigation and you are one of their contacts. How that resonates. Um, I feel you could have initiated contact with the feds or somebody is doing an investigation and they put your name out there. And so you got put into the investigation. How that resonates, but some kind of federal investigator energy soon. Sounds like contact coming to you, Virgo, if that resonates for you. Um, and somebody's about to get stuck at the airport soon. Uh, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. I think you're about to have patience because you're, I'm sure you're going to be frustrated with, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to stuck at this airport. I'm sure you're going to be frustrated. I mean, I've been stuck in airports before, too. It's not fun. It's not fun. You have to have a lot of patience. I have slept on a floor in an airport before. Um, it's not fun. But, you know, it is what it is. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. And namaste.